Welcome everyone to Harvest Moon Light of Hope Special Edition Complete. Kind of a long name, I know. Um, so, let me explain that before I actually start. So, this is actually a Nintendo Switch version of it, which is why it's called Special Edition. Um, so, this game was originally released way back uh, about a year ago before it came out for the Switch. Maybe less than a year ago or so, but... Um, yeah, it came out then, and it was just a regular version, but the Special Edition has a few more things like more Bachelors and Bachelorettes and a couple other features. But basically this game is developed by Natsume, so it's not a Marvelous game, which means it already by default gets some criticism because it's not the quote-unquote real slash true Harvest Moon series. So I will go ahead and give you a heads up with that. So we'll see. It's not for everyone. Um, it's not the worst Harvest Moon game in the freaking world. It's no Lost Valley. That's a good thing, right? Because the Lost Valley is... Oh my god, that's a pretty different story. So, anyway, gonna go ahead and do a new game here. Let's do a new game. Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? Well, I can get to choose. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Confirm. I need to go ahead and enter a name. Alright. I will go ahead and... Select that. Oh, I can just press plus. My bad. And then confirm. Choose a birthday. I always like doing winter, so I'm going to go with winter, the 20th, because my actual birthday is December 20th, so I like to go ahead and correlate that to winter 20th in these Harvest Moon games. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do confirm, and let's do it. So this game, it's, it's honestly pretty simplistic and basic when it comes to Harvest Moon features, so we'll see. We'll see, um, you know, if, if you all like this. I mean, some of you might not, some of you may. Who knows? It's very different. Definitely very different than the, than the latest Harvest Moon game I have Let's Played. Um, well, Mad Dash, but that's a puzzle game. Not, in, not including that one. It would be Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. That one is very different. Uh, this one is... Oh my god. What the hell? Alright, so we just got taken to some place, not even sure where. Prologue, Light of Hope. Well, let's see. Alright, so I'm here in this random place. I don't even know where. Oh, uh, um, well, phew. I'm glad you're finally awake. Are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? I know a place where I'm hurt that you could help me. It's called my... Duh... Shoulder. <clears throat> Shoulder. Yeah, of course. Well, who's your home? Okay. I find you lying in front of my doorstep. Maybe you were caught in yesterday's terrible storm. Jean. Alright, so her name is Jean. Got it. An herbal doctor. And you're the lighthouse keeper. Got it. Alright. There's a magnificent lighthouse here. That's the reason why it's called Beacon Town. Um, so would it be okay if I asked your name? Yes, my name is Shiny. Oh, I thank you. Why, thank you, Jean. Huh. Oh, so I was already treated and covered. Okay. Wait, I was covered in a blanket. I, I could have sworn I wasn't. I'll have to look at that in editing, but I swear I wasn't. Somebody brought me here, you say? A girl with blue eyes and short purple hair. I don't think I know her. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. There are only a few of us left on the island now because of a big storm that came by several years ago. Hmm. So this island is basically like barren. There's almost nobody in here. Great. You're welcome to do so. I'll even show you a place where I think you might be able to live. Oh, really? Just conveniently? Isn't it funny how in these Harvest Moon games, like, you conveniently just find a place to live? <laughs> if only real life was like that. You know, you're kind of homeless, you know, you str you get stranded somewhere, whether it's a town, a city, or wherever. And then the first person I meet is like, I have a place that you can live. Like, oh my god. This is the farm. This is the farm. Well, alright then. Ooh, there's a nice little well right there. Okay, I see. I see.
Hmm. Looks nice and cute, I will say. Yeah, it kind of doesn't. So, alright, so I gotta till the land first. Sounds good. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the people who lived here before were using it. It has to be here somewhere. What? Got hoe. Got watering can. Got cabbage seeds, ten. But need to learn how to grow your own crops if you're going to live here, so I'll teach you what I know. First, you need to till the land and make a crop field. Think of it as preparing a fluffy bed for your crops. That's your way of explaining it? Okay. So, um, why not try tilling a small section of the land in this area using the hoe I just gave you? Move the cursor to an empty slot and press the action button. Sounds good. Alright, so an empty... Also, these random short loading screens are kind of weird. Um, they're just there. Alright, so... Basically, you, you want to move somewhere now. It can... So, here's what's kind of strange. Um, wait, so the action button? Okay, that's... That's the pause menu. Why? Alright. So, I'll just start by saying one of the weirder things about this game is that it's kind of different and reversed, I would say, in in the sense that um, in most games, the tilled soil or whatever is actually going to be over here in the brown thing, but like the brown terrain, but in here it's actually not. And here it's the, as you can see, the the green terrain. Anyway, basically this is what you do. I already tilled four. Four spots. Good work. Alright. Moving on. Now let's, let's try planting the cabbage seeds I just gave you earlier into the plots we just tilled. Open your bag and select a seed. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and take care of that. So, what you do is you open the bag, you come here, you select the seeds, and now you can only plant one square at a time. Now if you don't want that, you simply press B, and then you go back to doing the action, using the action button. See? But if you want to use it, you go back to seeds. So there's a lot of stuff here. Crops, food, fertilizer, animal feed, fish, materials, and then here's my tools. Yeah, I guess. Level 1 house is a tool. And that's not really a tool, it's more so like key stuff. Still, though, it's weird that they put that on there, so... Yeah, anyway, so they get planted one square at a time. As you can see. Oh, so I just planted four. Alright, what's next? It almost feels as if you're planting the seeds of hope. What? Okay. Watering can is next. Alright, there is a well over there. The watering can I gave you earlier is still empty, so you'll need to fill it with water from that one. No. Really? Oh my god. That's like crazy. Alright, um... New? Why does it say new? What? Okay, that's weird. Let's come over here. Go up to it. Fill up. Watering can is full. Nice, right? Sounds good. What's next? Yes, I filled it up. Cabbage seeds? Alright. Well, that works. Now all we have to do... Wait, can't I like... No, I can't grab that. I can, I can plant stuff over here though, right? Yes, I can. Here, let me actually... Let me plant them all. Wait, I have six. How do I, how do I have six now? What the fuck? That's not what I meant to do. I meant to. Oh no, I didn't have six. Oh shit! I screwed. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I I, I miscounted that. All right. For some reason, I to, oh my god, I'm fucking going crazy over here. I really am. All right, so. Hmm. Looking very nice. Oh, and you need to, yep, water your crops. I pretty much have some of the basics. Yep. Sounds great. Okay. I'm 
But I gotta keep watering, so I will definitely do that. Alright. That's all ten. Let me talk to you. Let me give you some more. Oh. I'm gonna get more? Just like that? Oh my god, I got another ten. Well, too bad I don't really have any space here. Well, sort of, ish. There's definitely a lot of places to plant, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna enter here. Let's see what I can find. Alright, so here's my home. What do you think? It might feel a bit cramped, but it should have everything you need for now. Okay. Well, that works. I guess I'll go ahead and enter here, right? You're just gonna watch me sleep? On the house on the hill to the north of the lighthouse. If you have any questions, just come by and ask. And after a night, I think your caviar should go in size. Okay. So that was the first day done. As you can see, we got introduced to the very basics. Ooh, a dream? Help, someone help me. I'm being crushed. I can't breathe. What the heck? Okay, so it's actually not a dream. It actually is happening. So we're gonna... You know what? I'll take a look at this later. Let's just go on with the story for now. Let's do it. Let's get rid of all this, you know tutorial part of the game done. Is someone there? Can you please pull that weed out? I really need your help. Okay. I shall do it. Sure, why not? What the heck? Is that a... Is that a rusted coin? Thanks to whoever it was that pulls the, the weed out. Oh yeah, of course, no problem. No problem, dude. That's a stone tablet. Got first stone tablet. Oh, look at this guy. I'm saved. Okay. My name is Rowan. I'm the Harvest Bride of Crops. Ooh, hello, Rowan. As you can see, I'm kind of small. I got stuck under that stone tablet and I couldn't even move. It was terrible. Who put that stone tablet? I don't know. It wasn't there yesterday when I was watering my cabbage. Hmm. There's a lady named Jean that lives to the west of your farm. Maybe she knows something about it. Sounds good. So that's where I have to go. Alright, but before that, I mean, it's... So it's 6 a.m. as you can see. Um... I'm of course going to go ahead and start by watering my, my crops first. And I actually have another- whoops. Okay, oh now I can pull these. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. I was like, wait, 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 why couldn't I pull them before? But now I know. So if I just take all this shit out of here... Two, three, four, five, and then I can do six and seven. Alright, so from what I know, you can't really tell your, um, like your stamina meter. Like, you can't see it from what I know. So that's one of the things that's a little bit of a shame, I would say, about this version. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? Okay. Wait, so did I just, hold on, let me... I don't have any fertilizer. Wait, how did I... Okay. That, that was weird. Oh god, I got it. Okay. So you just do that. Auto-select. You simply just approach an empty plot of land and the game defaults to like what it thinks you want to do. So that's good. I'm gonna water. Also, it's still 6am by the way. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. But yeah, so as you can see, in this game you don't necessarily like cycle between tools. The game just defaults as far as like what tool can be used in that particular circumstance. 
So I don't know, it's pretty nifty when it comes to that, you know? Alright, let me go ahead and um, I'm already over here, let me fill it up. Alright, so I have to now go west. All of my crops are watered. Let's see what we can find over here. Alright. Yeah, your character moves incredibly weird in this game, I'll just tell you that. Got Margaret, it recorded in... Alright, sounds good. Anything else? Not really. Alright, so the lighthouse is over here. That's not actually where I want to go. Um, what I need to do is actually head up north this way. Another one of those, I'll take it. Yeah, foraging is always a very good friend in Harvest Moon, you know, but definitely a good source of income and or gifts for people. Here's a bamboo shoot, all right. Recorded an encyclopedia. Here there's uh, something destroyed, okay, whatever. Another bamboo shoot there. I'll take this, and that's about it for that. So there's one building over here. Let's enter it. What could this be? This is Jean. Hello, Shiny. Is something the matter? Oh, that is an interesting stone tablet you found. Is it? Is it really? I don't think I've ever seen it. Wait, hold on. I, th I think I may have seen a panel with a similar shape to that tablet over at the lighthouse. Oh, really? Okay. Head to the lighthouse? Got it. I will, in fact, head over there, then, if you say so. Oh, we get warped. Nice, how convenient. This lighthouse has been around for a very long time. It has some history. A guardian. Okay. Yes, that's right. My family have been keepers of this lighthouse for many generations. I'm actually the 20th. The 20th generation? Oh my gosh. That is so long. It just wouldn't light up anymore, huh? Well, have you tried replacing the light bulb? <laughs> Sorry, I was that, that was really a dick move. <laughs> okay. Oh, my my character has an idea. Oh man, that that means an idea! Exclamation mark. Okay, sure. Let's place it. Let's place this thing on there. Do you want to fit the tablet in the panel? Yes. Oh, look at that. What's happening? Ooh, it's actually lighting up. Wow. What's going on? How did the lights turn on in that lighthouse? Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, it's Rowan. Hey, Rowan. It's a miracle. Yes, it is. An absolute miracle. Hmm. No problem, Rowan and Jean. Is something wrong? Yeah, so typical to every Harvest Moon game, basically. Only your main character, plus like usually one or two other characters in the game, can actually see the Harvest Brights. But nobody else can. It's always a concept that I find kind of weird, but I mean, whatever. Yep. There are four more panels like this. You think something will happen if we can find the others? Maybe. Let's hope so. Hmm. Okay, so that's basically your main story. You gotta find four others. And to be honest, the story mode is not particularly long in this game. It's actually fairly short and can be achieved within, I would say anywhere between five to 10 hours, it can be done like completing all of story mode. Many winters have come and gone and still no sign of the tablets. Where are you, Harvest Goddess? If the lighthouse is restored, the Harvest Goddess's powers will return. I must find all the tablets, quick. Who the fuck are you? Who the hell is that person? Oh my god.
I'm gonna wake up. All right, Rowan, what do you want now? Someone has just arrived on the island, but he seems a little strange. Okay. Sounds good. Hmm. Chapter 1, The Light Grows. Okay. Well then. Well then. Alright, so I can now go ahead and show, I guess, all this here. So you, we can go to records. We can see, like, total ship, most money saved, total play time, 19 minutes so far, total soil tail. Basically, just some, you know, little records here and there if you want to actually see this stuff for yourself. So, that's cool, right? Um, what else? You also can already cook from the start. That's actually fairly unique to Harvest Moon games. Not a lot of Harvest Moon games let you cook from the very beginning. Um, I guess I'll talk to Rowan again. Sure. Hello. Oh, same thing. Okay, got it. All right, let's go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and oh, it's actually raining. So wait, what did it say? You don't have any fertilizer. Oh, because it's already watered. Got it. All right, so I haven't really talked about this, but this here. Oh, I can't even open it. Never mind. I actually really can't do that much right now. Um, I'm gonna just go over here in that case. All right, so if I had, oh, what the heck? This place is closed. Oh, there's a bamboo shoot here. I suppose I want her to go around and forge a little bit more, right? Um, let's see if stuff actually do regrow, though. I mean, they do regrow, but sometimes it can take a little while. It's not like every day the same stuff are going to be regrowing. Unlike usually, that was a mechanic or concept found in older Harvest Moon titles. That like it would always be the same stuff every day in the same exact spot that would be regrowing. Oh my god. I, I just get free cabbage seeds every time I want to talk to you. Oh my Jesus. That's like crazy. Alright, well anyway. I'm going to go ahead and um, get out of here. So there's actually more than just going west from your farm. There's a few more places that you can go to. So like the very first place, for example. If I head this way. To the south, it'll take me somewhere else. Cutscene time. Who's this? Oh boy. Now this is just a prime example of a lonely deserted island. What was I thinking? Hmm. What's up? Huh. Alright, so that's Sam right there, as you can see. A new, a new character introduced, so that's cool. And welcome to the island. How are you liking it? And be honest. Hmm. What do you mean? Let me just show you. So this vase here, it actually fills up with gold every single night. I even know someone who woke up a billionaire. Isn't it crazy? That will cure... What? Oh my god. Is this one of these fucking guys? You know who I'm talking about. I know all of you already know a person like this, you know, in in, in real life. Hmm. If yeah, that thing fill up with gold every freaking night, why don't you just keep the damn thing and become a billionaire yourself instead of coming out here and doing business? Oh, you saw light from the lighthouse. Okay. Oh, really? Well, shoot. Hmm. Did he just offer to fix me? No, 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 don't do that to this guy. He's gonna swindle me. And we're offering to help him? Oh my god. That's not good. Hey, Shiny, you're gonna help fix up his shop? That's perfect. I'm all for it. Uh oh. I need an axe. Okay. Go as a gene, okay? I mean, I guess so. We don't really have a choice here, right? We gotta go as gene. Let's do it. Okay, um, before I keep going, um, or back that way, as you can see, there's a little bit more stuff to do over here. Some places are close, as you can clearly see. Um, I mean, to be honest, most places are actually closed right now. This over here takes me over to... 
Another event? What is this? No one's there? Hey, you there! What are you doing here? What? No, Naomi's my mom. My mom- my name is Sally. Oh. Borrow our axe? Oh my god, did I just skip something? That Oh my god, I, I think I did, actually. Hmm. I was supposed to go talk to Jean, and I guess Jean was going to tell me to come over to Naomi, but I didn't actually do that. Hmm. Okay. Go and talk to Jean? Okay. Well. I suppose I gotta do that. You, what do you want? Okay, okay, fine, fine, I'll, I'll run back. As you can see, your guy runs really, really slow here in this game. Oh my gosh. Like, super slow. Alright, so I have to run basically over here to the west and go talk to Jean. And she should be over here. There you are. How'd it go? Yeah, so I totally skipped talking to Jean. Oh my god. Oh, that's Sally. Yes. What, what do you suggest I do, Jean? Bamboo shoots. Okay. Bamboo shoots. Well, luckily, I got some bamboo shoots with me. So I can go ahead and, you know, give one of those to her. So now let's go to run all the way back. Wait, are these things these things aren't ready yet, right? No, okay, I was like, what the f sorry, they kinda looked right and I was like, wait a minute. Um, alright, let's run back down then, in that case. Ooh, look at this nice little cute bell right there. Hmm. Alright, Sally. Very suspiciously. Are you about to give me a bamboo shoot by opening your bag, selecting the bamboo shoot, and then talking to me? Oh my god. Natsume. Seriously? <laughs> Why did I just say all that? Alright, so... Let me talk to you. Oh, same thing, okay. So what you do is you basically go over here, you find the bamboo shoot, you hold, and then you go talk to the person. And that's how that works. Yep. Are you sure? Yes. Take it. Really? Oh, come on. Yes, the farmer. I'm starting a farm. Show me some proof. What do you mean? Some of your crops? Really? Oh. Alright. Fair enough. I, I guess I will do that. I'm going to go ahead and run all the way back then. Back, back, back. Run. However, here's the thing. Uh, I believe the cabbage are not going to be fully grown and ready until tomorrow. Which means I can't really do all that much more today. So, also for my inventory... Um, these, oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. So, despite these being like typical weeds, just know that they're not actual inventory items. Your character is just kind of like ripping them out, you know? Not really like keeping them as inventory, if that makes sense. Alright, well, I'm going to go to bed. Despite it being really early, it's what, 8.50 a.m.? That's okay. Uh, save and sleep. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save and sleep. Alright, I'm going to end it here. So next time, we will continue with this. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.